In this video, I'm gonna build a login screen so that users can log in through the website. So it's gonna be very similar to like the registration screen that we built. I'm gonna make a form and then display that form through a view so that users can log in. And it's gonna be available by clicking this link. So let's go to Sublime Text and I'm gonna close everything just so we can get kind of a nice fresh start so you don't get confused at what I'm looking at. And uh, the first step is gonna be building that form. So I'm gonna go into accounts and I'm gonna go into forms. And just like we built the registration form, we are gonna build a, a special form for, uh, for authenticating users. Now this is gonna be a little different than the registration form though because when I, when I build the registration form, I use this pre-built user creation form that's available through uh, Django Contrib Auth Forms. But th there is technically one for authentication. I can't remember the name of it, but it, uh, it doesn't really fit my needs exactly. So I'm going to be building something custom. So I need to add an import before I do anything from Django.Contrib.Auth. I want to import Authenticate. Uh, as you know, the Authenticate method, as you saw in the models, is for authenticating, I think it was in models, or maybe it was in maybe it was in the view. It's for authenticating the user to check if their credentials are valid. So we're gonna need that here in the form. So I'm gonna write class, this is gonna be called account authentication form. Hopefully I didn't spell that wrong. Forms.modelform. This is where it gets different because now I'm creating a custom form, so I'm extending by forms.modelform as opposed to using a built-in one like we did before with this user creation form. Uh, I need to specify a field, so password forms dot character field. It's going to be whoops label equals label equals password and the widget. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is so that the password doesn't show when they're entering it. If you don't specify a, a password field, by default it will just use a text field, and then the password will be visible when they're inputting it. So uh, I want to make sure that I tell it that I'm using a password field. Uh, class, I want to extend meta, model equals account. So I'm telling it what the, what kind of fields it's expecting to see in the form. Uh, then I want to tell it which fields are going to be visible. The only fields that I need are the password and the email. So those are, those are the only fields that I need to actually log in a user. Now this last method or this last function is going to be called clean. This clean function is available to any form that extends the model form. And what it does is it, it's basically a way, it's like, an, think of it as like an interceptor. Before the form can do anything, it has to run this clean method and then any logic that you write in the clean method will get executed before the form can actually do anything. And the reason I wanna do this is, is, is I wanna make sure that the user's credentials are valid. So I'm gonna try and authenticate them in here and see if it's valid. And then if they're not valid, then I can provide some feedback. So I can do password equals self dot cleaned data. And I'm looking for, whoops, looking for that, uh, that password. And then I want to use the authentication method. So if it's not authenticate email equals email password equals password. Uh, if, if they're not able to authenticate, I want to raise an error. So raise forms dot validation error. And I just want to say in, valid login so if if they enter credentials and for some reason uh, the credentials don't work you know the password is wrong the email doesn't exist whatever it will raise this validation error and it's going to display it on the screen so pressing Control s to save that and now we're going to build the view so now that we have our form it's time to make the view that inflates the form so coming into our views.py file inside of accounts i'm going to give myself some more space here I'm going to define a new view. This is going to be called login view. Pretty intuitive. Login view will, of course, have a context just like all of our other views do. And let's see, we need to go user equals request.user. So the first check we need to do is if the user is already authenticated, we don't, we don't want them to be at the login screen. There's no reason for them to be at the login screen if they're already authenticated. So if authenticated, then I want to redirect. So return redirect. I can just re redirect them to the home screen. If they're not already authenticated and they're trying to log in, then we can proceed. So if request.post, so if it's a post request, if a post request was made on the login form basically, uh, then we wanna do form equals, we need to import our account authentication form. So I'm copying that, going to account.forms, I wanna import the account authentication form, 
and I want to do form equals account authentication form request dot post just like we did for the registration form. Remember exactly the same kind of thing we're doing here. Um, now we want to check if the form is valid. That means that everything is good to go. That means we should have an email, we should have a password, and we should have a user that is valid. So I can get access to the email like this. I can get access to the password like this. And I can then authenticate the user. So user equals authenticate, email equals email, password equals password. Uh, then if that user object exists, that means that they were successfully authenticated, the account exists, the password's correct, the email's correct, everything is good to go. So then we want to log in the user. So request and then pass that user and we want to re uh, return, redirect to the home screen again. Okay, so what if it's not a post request? Well, if it's not a post request, that means they are they're viewing the page, they're viewing the login page and they haven't attempted to log in yet. So they're not authenticated and they haven't tried to log in yet. So else, that means we're down here. Uh, that would mean we want to do form equals our account authentication form. We want to pass no parameters because it's just going to be uh, the raw form, nothing added to it. And then I want to, the last thing is add the form uh, to the context. So add the form to the context. Actually, I'll call this, call this login form. And then the last thing is just want to return, render. I want to render the request. I want to reference the template, so account.login, which we haven't made yet. We're going to make that in just a second here. And then I want to pass the context. And that is going to be our login view. So just kind of a heads up, I want to kind of run through the logic. Supposing they try to log in, meaning you get a request.post, the form would get set, but the form would not be valid. So what, let's follow that down and see what happens. If the form is invalid, it's going to come down here. None of this logic is going to get touched. This is not going to get touched. The form is just going to get added to the context. So then what happens? What, what kind of data is attached to the form that's not valid? Well, that's going to be our validation error. So the, there will be a non-field error, something called a non-field error that's going to be attached to it, which can then be displayed in the template. And I'm going to talk more about that in just a second here. So before we move on to building our login screen, I want to go to my site. I want to go to URLs and I'm going to add this new URL. So it's going to be login view. I want to copy that. This will be login. Add this login view and call this login. So now our, our URL is built and it's added to our URLs. Now it's time to build that template. So I'm coming into account, going into templates, going into account. I'm, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to press control S and I'm going to call this login.html. It's going to be very similar to register.html. I actually should have just copied this. So I'm going to copy everything in register.html. I'm going to paste that in and I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to change some things. So number one is I want to change the title to login. I want to change this to login form. Anywhere it says registration form, I want to change it to login form. I think that was actually it. Just change that to login form. Uh, this should be log in or log in, whatever you want. You call it sign in, whatever you want to call it there. Uh, everything else should be mostly the same. So we have our form, it's a post request, our token. We're iterating through the fields in the form. Going to have a label, the fields. If there's any help text, it will get displayed. If there's any errors, it will get displayed. And actually, there is one thing that we do need to add. So after the loop, uh, remember that thing I, I mentioned just a second ago and I said uh, a non-field error? So this is called a non-field error that's getting thrown. Uh, it's an error that isn't unique to any particular field in the form. So we need to handle those non-field errors. So if login form dot non-field errors, so if it has any non-field errors, I want to do end if, then I want to do something in here. Uh, in this case, I want to display some red text that shows the uh, that shows that error. So I'm going to write, actually I don't need to do class, do style. This is going to be a background color, so red, and then do P, and this is going to be the, the non-field error. So login form dot non-field errors. That will display them. So if the, the request is bad, if the password's wrong, if the login's wrong, anything's wrong that's not unique to that particular field, like they didn't you know, enter the password correctly, that's going to get displayed here. 
All right, so last but not least, we need to go into our base.html and make a couple other kind of small changes here. So first, if the user is authenticated, I wanna change this a little bit. I'm gonna do P and I wanna wait to navigate to the home screen. So A, this is gonna be uh, that home URL. So URL home and add home and then want to concatenate that or add another link to the logout. So I'm gonna cut that, I'm gonna paste that up there. And so it'll first say link to the home page, whether they wanna log out and then hello and their name. So now what if they are not authenticated? Well, I still want a way to navigate to the home screen. So I'm gonna add this here. So uh, if either way, if they're authenticated or they're not, they wanna be able to navigate to the home screen. Next, I have a link to the register screen. And then lastly is gonna be a link to login. So I'm gonna actually break these, break these up here so it's uh, more evenly spaced and get that to the next screen. And then so this needs to be that login, login URL. So that should be good. I believe that's everything I wanted to do in this video. So now let's go to our website, let's refresh. Looks like something's wrong because I'm getting an error. Let's take a look here. Looks like there's a syntax error in line 27 of the forms file. So let's go take a look here. Uh, password, clean data, password, uh, password equals self dot clean data, password. Looks like Everything's fine, the spacing is fine. If not authenticated, email equals email, password equals password. Oh, I forgot the uh, colon there. So I need to add a colon because it's a if statement. So now let's go back to our website, refresh that. Still not good, let's take a look. Is, oh, is form valid? It should be if form is valid, that's in views. I wrote is, this should be if the form is valid. Let's go back, try it again, refresh. Okay, there's a register screen, let's go to home. So right now, no one is currently authenticated. I have an option to register or I have an option to log in. So let's go to log in. Looks like that works. I'm gonna type just my password of password, click enter. Looks like I'm successfully authenticated. It says home and log out now as the options in the home screen. It says, hello, Mitch, who is the user I'm authenticated with. Let's click log out. Looks like I'm successfully logged out. And lastly, let's register someone just to try that. I'll just do, I don't know, some random text at gmail.com. Again, random text, password, and try and log that in. Cool, so I'm authenticated with that user. Uh, looks like that link works, I can log out, log in with a different user. Let's try and log in with uh, this guy right here. So type that, go to type the password, and that works. So everything is working exactly as we expect at this point. So actually, before I move on, I wanna log out and try something else. So I'm gonna to go to login, and I wanna see what happens if I type like an invalid email. So if I click login, I get this key error. Okay, that's that's a problem. So let's go to forms, and uh, I can fix this by saying, cause, cause what's happening is the, e the email is invalid, therefore this is invalid, and it's creating uh, an error. So what I wanna do is I wanna do if self dot is valid so self being the form if the form is valid then i want to do this stuff because if the form is invalid we can't get the email and we can't get the password because uh there there's something wrong basically so if i save that something else i want to change too is if i go well let's actually run it and i'll show you the problem so go to login again i'm going to delete that click enter enter a valid email address so that looks good uh what happens though if i so if I enter a valid email address, but I enter an incorrect password. So there, that's fine too, except it's double printing it. So the way we can fix that is I can go to the HTML dot, or login.html, and instead of looping the errors inside of the field loop, I'm going to, whoops, so for, yeah, so instead of, this is for field in the login form, I wanna put these things outside of the loop. So outside of the actual field loop, there we go. So that'll loop through the fields, get the help text, all that stuff. And then here, outside of that, we're going to uh, get the errors. So I gotta do for error in, this should be login form dot field dot errors. And that should be good, dot field, login form. I might, even be, I might just be login form dot errors actually. So let's save that and take a look. I'm going to go to the login screen again type the wrong password 
and that's almost there except for this i don't i think that's um that's a, a format thing for the errors so let's go back to login.html so i'm going to go uh, let's see here add another loop this is going to say for field in for field in login form oops this needs to be four for field in login form and i want to end the four and then inside there i'll put this loop for error in field dot errors so now it shouldn't be it shouldn't it should only show once so if there if there's an error it should only show once so if i save that now let's go to login oh whoops uh looks like i got a typo for field in login form there we go go back log in type the wrong password there we go invalid login so now now everything should be working as we expect let me try an invalid email there's there's that error now if i log in actually there we go okay so everything should be good to go now i can log out i can register i can log in all the screens are set up appropriately so now in the next video i'm going to build a form i'm going to do the same kind of thing but i'm going to build a view for viewing the user's account properties so when they're logged in they can go to their account and they can update either their email or their username